Hey everybody, it's Steve with some more Simple DMX. Uh, a lot of you have asked about moving heads and I've never had any moving headlights because frankly they're, just, they're too expensive and too big. Uh, and then I found out about these guys, which are uh, only $45 each. Uh, there's a link below to the website TomTop where I got them. So let's take a look at one, see what the features are, and then uh, control one with DMX, and then we'll hook four of them together and uh, program some simple scenes and run them with a fog machine, see how they look. So what actually do you get for $45? Well, in the box, there's like a little instruction manual and a mounting bracket and screws and a power cord. And I was actually surprised how kind of substantial it felt. It's a plastic case, but it's uh, metal inside and uh, has the actually four controls that take it through all the functions. And the back has the DMX in and out and power. There's no power switch, so you just power it up by plugging the cord in. And the first mode, when you, when you plug it in, it's in a standalone mode. And basically what it does is it just cycles through um, different variations of angles and lights. And um, I guess it's really simple if you wanna just set it up for a party. You can keep it in auto mode, and that actually has two different um, positions, a slow auto mode and a fast auto mode. And there's another thing that you can do without DMX, which is a sound active mode. I have it in that mode right now. And let me show you how that works when we uh, play a little music. So it has a little microphone and when it hears music, it uh, goes from function to function in time with the music, which is pretty cool. But what we really want to get into is controlling this with DMX. So here's our trusty uh, Chauvet Obey controller with uh, DMX out. And I'm gonna plug it into the DMX in on the light and turn it on. And one thing that's really cool is when you uh, turn on the controller and the light gets the DMX signal, all of a sudden it's under DMX control and automatically. You don't have to reset anything. So I have it set for a starting address channel of one, have the light set that way. And for those of you who know the Chauvet Obey 40 controller, maybe from watching some of my uh, previous tutorials, uh, fixture one, starts with a starting address of um, DMX channel one. So they're configured correctly. So the way that this light works is you can put it in a 14 channel mode or a nine channel mode. And I have it set in a nine channel mode because it's a little bit simpler. And in that nine channel mode, channel one controls the pan, which is the rotation of the light, obviously. Channel two controls the tilt. And channel three controls the brightness, but let's put on uh, red on channel four. And then we can control the brightness with channel three. And when you go beyond 134 value, then it goes into uh, strobing functions, which is kind of cool. But we'll just put it down to uh, maximum brightness or around maximum brightness. Uh, so red is four and green is five and blue is six. So basically between these one, two, three, four, five, six channels, um, you can set the light to any position and any color. So now we have all four lights daisy chained together and each light is set up to DMX channel one. We could set each light to a different DMX channel and we could control each one independently 
but usually moving headlights look best when they're all synchronized and moving together. So it actually makes it easier to program because we all have them, they're set all to DMX channel one, and so they're all controlled by fixture one. So we're in fixture one, I can show you. They all pan together, they all tilt together. And when we turn on the brightness, we'll turn on uh, some red, green, and blue. And they all move synchronized. They do a pretty good job of staying together. Pretty impressed with, again, this is $180 worth of lights up there and they're, they're doing a pretty good job in my opinion. Okay, so let's program a couple scenes. We're gonna go into programming mode, hold down the program button on the Chauvet 40. Uh, now we're in program mode. Uh, we got fixture one on. So actually, that looks pretty good like that. Let's just add that. Let's add that to scene one. Okay. And now let's turn them the other direction. And let's change the color to that. Let's add that to scene two. And let's set a third scene. We'll make it that color and we will pan them all the way down, but so we can still see. Let's add that to scene three. Okay, now let's come out of programming mode. It's gonna automatically go into blackout mode. So we have to hit blackout to come out of blackout mode. I'm gonna turn off fixture one. And now we've got, there's scene one, there's scene two, and there's scene three. So it's pretty cool. And so now I'm gonna program a few more scenes and then put it into a chase. Okay, so I just took uh, the three scenes that we just programmed and I programmed five more scenes and I put them in a chase. And so now we're gonna hit auto to run the chase. And you'll see it go through all the different scenes synchronized. Okay, so that's it for this episode. Thanks so much for all the subscriptions and all the likes. Uh, like this one if you like it and uh, look forward to seeing you at the next one. Now let's watch these lights with some fog.